Now, there is one more thing. You know that this is the external side of the building. So when we say external side of building, normally we tend to use RCC. Okay. But if you use AAC block, maybe hollow block we cannot use because the waterproofing issue can come. But if you use AAC block, huge impact is going to come on energy reduction. So, uh, so definitely you should think about that AAC block, what we have used. So instead of 230 mm brick wall, we have used 150 mm AAC block and it has made impact. There is the energy saving. You can see that U value has reduced from 2 W meter per square per uh, Kelvin to 0.9 watts per meter square per Kelvin dot Kelvin. So you can see that from 2 to 0.9 it has come down. Now, in hospital, what is important is also chiller size because there is a lot of uh, diversification is there. If you see that, most of the time, we use, a, if our requirement is like some consider that 800 TR. Now consider that instead of 800 TR, you can have 300 into 3 numbers also. You can have 450 into 2 numbers also. So now if I am having a efficient chiller and I am using VFD. So what happens that if our requirement is consider 800 TR or 600 TR. So can I go with 400 into 2? Answer is yes. But then what will happen is that so chances are there that if there is a failure in that chiller, then you will end up that only with 400 TR. And that will not suffice your entire load of 600 TR. So can you have 300 into 3? Answer is yes. So either you can start with 300 into 2 numbers, later on whenever you require you can add one more thing. But all these things, chiller efficiency plays an important role. There is no point that going for a higher tonnage and then using VFDs. That is not going to solve the problem. So what is important is that we need to have a very clear idea what is your diversification of what is the chiller you need to use it. That is very important and that is going to make a huge impact from the energy swing point of view. Same, similarly, cooling tower because once you use proper chiller, then uh, cooling tower also will be uh, of same size. That will make a difference. Now, pre-cooling. Why pre-cooling advantage is there? Like if you see a, a city like Pune, uh, in winter season, temperature goes up to 9 to 10 degree. Okay. Now, what happens if you are having 9 to 10 degree temperature available? Why not to use that? Because what we are doing that we are giving chilled water supply of 7 degree and then reducing from temperature outside below. So instead of doing that, if it is 8 to 9 degrees available, we should be able to use it with pre-cooling, which is there. Then heat recovery wheels. These are the things what we can able to use for the energy saving. So this is, I don't want to go into depth of this, but what is important is that for the medical equipment, other than temperature, one is humidity. So humidity has to be below 60%. Now I am making one point and you will always remember that because I am from medical side or medical engineering side. If you see uh, all the companies, they always say that we need to maintain a temperature of 22 degree for CT scan, MRI, cat lab, Linux, chiller and everyone. Okay. Now, now from where this 22 degree has come? Okay. Because I work for that, I work in US also for that. I have seen that their original data sheet will say that the temperature requirement is 26 degree. Just see that. Now if you are maintaining something on 22 and if you are maintaining on, I understand that. Even. Now if you see that, why I am saying this, please remember that I am doing that all. Last week I was here in uh, Delhi and we are talking about energy efficient medical equipment okay and uh, we are talking about different uh, equipments and i have considered that why not ct mr capital so everyone saying there is fixed 22 degree what to do in that so we can do one thing here now when i'm saying 22 degree how many times in a entire day we are using ct scan mr capital maybe for 14 hours maximum 15 hours but 9 hours are such that Machine is idle. No one is there inside. And what machine requirement? Machine requirement 26 is also okay. So at least for those nine hours, can I do something? If you don't have BMS also still manually, you can do it. Instead of 22 degree, can you do 24 degree or 25 degree? Yes, it's possible. Even if you do 24 degree per day, I'm telling you per day, we can save only on the medical equipment minimum 200 units. And you believe me, 200 units per day. This small, small is going to 
whatever energy saving what we'll do is going to make a net zero or what we are talking about CO2 uh, consumption reduction. Everything we can able to do it just by doing small thing. Now here as I mentioned how to control the humidity. So controlling humidity we are having couple of things. In Thane earlier we used to have a electrical strips. So what happens? Now if you see that in Bombay currently the humidity is around 95 percent. Medical equipment was 60 percent. ICU was 60 percent less than 60. How to achieve that? So we are using electrical strips and that causes huge electrical consumption. So there are two options for that. One is that either you can have a heating coil and then you should have a uh, uh, TFA or sorry uh, heat pump with heat pump you can able to do that control your humidity because it will create hot water. So we have done one more thing is that we have procured a chiller. The chiller byproduct is this 25.4 degree, degree. I am using that 25.4 degree so I don't have to invest anything on heat pump also. With this we are controlling the humidity. So our chiller is doing couple of purpose. One is that cooling and as a byproduct, the hot water which is getting circulated, we are using for the AHU in our Pune, this one, because this everything has to happen at the time of day one. It cannot happen retrofit because in running hospital, do something retrofit is not so easy. So we have control with this. Now, TFA unit, I already mentioned that. This is a supply di line diagram for TFA, this is more technical, but you can see here. The, the toilet exhaust which is coming from, uh, from the, all the rooms, we are just removing that air and by that we can able to give the, for each room, for FCU, we can able to give good pressure supply. Now, this is the result for our Pune. Okay, so in November 2018, our hospital was started in 2017 and after one year, we got our result. Whatever we have done, because everything was on paper, whether reality says that or not, that was it was says for us also. Because most of the hospitals, most of the places, everything is designed on paper. Okay, because now this is a bold statement, some may not like it, but sorry for that. But this is very important in India. Whenever any uh, uh, vendor, or maybe uh, when we do some project, the project happens on only till PMC. PMC will take care till the inauguration of the project but when we did this project this is the only project in india which was done by indo swiss beep so swiss government was involved into this project and they have done the entire this is the only healthcare project across india which was designed by them and because that in designing one thing which is important which has happened we mentioned through them that it is not we don't want just for the your support only for the HVAC uh, planning purpose, only for drawing purpose, but we should be there in during execution phase also and operational phase also. Because if someone is having execution phase and if it is not their operational phase, because if you see any hospital, if they are saying 300 bed, that 300 bed occupancy will not come in the first six years, five to six years. It cannot happen if day one 300 bed is occupied. It will not happen. So whatever has been designed, whether it's right or wrong, we will come to know only up to 4 to 5 years. So that time someone has to see that, whether it is happening as per our specification, what was designed. Uh, design. So in our case, luckily because BEEP was there and they were part of our entire journey. So you can see here, if you see here, my chiller was showing that the chiller energy was higher cooling water temperature, what is chiller, because here if you see that, I will just go technically the condenser temperature also plays important role in chiller. One is chilled water supply and one condenser water, water temperature. So if you see that, like people are saying chiller water 7 to 12, normally what we design. On the condenser side, it is either 28 or 30 degrees, like 28, then 33 will come back, or if you say 30, then 35 will come back. Now this 28 and 30, how it makes a difference? So higher cooling water temperature and higher cooling water temperature in summer. So if I consider higher cooling water temperature, 1646, so when my cooling tower is uh, condensing water temperature 30 degree, my electrical consumption 1646, but when it comes down, it becomes 1435, 200 units saved per day. Here also similar 300 units saved per day in summer also. 
so if you can able to control your condenser water temperature you can able to definitely save the energy now these are chiller performers like this is what we have done if i am running single chiller and if i am running two chiller in parallel so like 60 60% or maybe maybe is 50 50% against 100% or 90% on one chiller so result when you are running with part load parallel operations and if you are running bfd you can see here it is less consumption in case of part load parallel option operations rather than single chiller, chiller operation so this is our cooling tower performance what i showed you now this is a typical ahu diagram so this is what i have shown either you should your heat pump or you can have a uh, this one uh, t uh, chiller now here you can see the electrical unit consumption have you seen uh, now what we have done in february april september and november here if you see hvac see that there it was somewhere around 8 to 9000 early in thane now it has come down to 4026 4178 there if you were talking about 54% or more here only in april it was 52 otherwise it is 38 47 38 so these are the readings same readings what we have taken for cooling same thing now here you can see there it was somewhere around 22000 here it is 13000 this is per day saving if you can consider same area is there both hospital but this is a saving what is happening you can see here remaining areas here also HVAC is around 38 47 percent only in April it was 52 percent so in that also if you see here chiller there I showed that it was more than 52 percent here it is less than that in Pune these are the chiller readings which are there and this is interesting same time October if you see that result 74 against 40 lakhs now we are also talking about renewable energies okay so solar water uh, solar panel or windmill we are having our own five own windmills are there that is in a year it consumes around or maybe it produces around uh, this last year it has produced 53 lakhs and my Pune is only 40 lakhs so my entire hospital is on renewable energy okay and those are like windmill energy what we are having our own energy uh, windmills which are there in Nandurbar and Sangli in Maharashtra so what are things other than energy efficiency so zero liquid discharge rainwater harvesting we are using VFDs everywhere so VFDs we should use it uh, not only for the uh, lights uh, sorry for air conditioning but we should also use for the whatever motors which are running continuously we should use variable frequency drives in that heat pumps I have already mentioned that heat pumps definitely plays important role so instead of if you have to run boiler also for hot water heat pump is always better from safety point of view as well as it consumes less energy and you can able to control uh, humidity also very easily so after doing all these things now I was saying that yes we are saying energy but it is really whether it is there or not so we did uh, from B star rating what we have done you can see here we have received 4 star and in initial stage our energy was 136 EPI if you see EPI so most of the uh, commercial buildings are always more than 300 or 250 hospital results are still not available but whatever are available are showing more than uh, somewhere around 250 to 200 plus up to 300 it goes in our case when we started so 136 in uh, Pune and uh, again that we have done one more study uh, after a couple of years we have done again the same thing check whether it is happening 136 what we have planned yes it has increased somewhat because 150 kWh so this is the reality so 136 is what we have planned 150 what we are achieving as a EPI but that is one of the best in industry and because of that only we have received uh, energy efficiency hospital uh, 
award by Ministry of Power recent last year only in November, and uh, this has happened in Delhi only. And uh, as I mentioned, this is a continuous journey. It cannot I cannot say it is over because every day around the clock you need to see that because you cannot just depend on BMS system. Manual intervention is very very important because the way I said that. Um, uh, how you were able to control because you can have a like for all this electricity, we can have a, a motion control, everything is possible. But where you need to control, uh, control more on your chiller. So if you can able to control on chiller, then I am sure there is a lot of energy saving can possible. And we should think in that way also that I believe that even if I am saying that my daily uh, consumption is around 20,000 units, if I am saying 150, that may, be, may not be that much percentage. But all this, this small, small units also makes huge impact. Because in where we can control it, because when <laughs> during hospital area, there are equipments you need to buy, conservers you need to buy. So where we can control it, hospital when some operational point of view. So this is the area where we can able to control. This is there in our hand, and we can able to control it much easier. So this is our journey continues, and I'm sure. And you will ask that whatever we are done, how much we are spent more on that. Okay. Now I'm going with my next project in Dombivli, that is 500 meter project, and where we are growing for a platinum uh, for IGBC, and I, we will achieve also because the way we have planned that, I'm sure we will achieve that. But then, how much is the cost? So when we consider the entire project cost, is very less. Only thing someone has to really look from that angle. When we are building hospital, we should look for energy efficiency because that should be one of our aspect to look into that because later on what happens that once your hospital start then if I say that that I have to invest 3, 3 crore or 3.5 CR for all these things then so everyone will say uh, ICU ban jayega. why to do all these things first priority goes to ventilator or any other equipment first priority will go to any other department so this is always take back seat so whatever you need to do do it day one when you are planning it and I am sure it is achievable is I feel that like 150 like is a benchmark. Next time we are planning that how can we go below that. Yes, but as I mentioned, yes, still it is like from 136 can also become 150. So if you don't take care of that, it can go ahead. So it is like continuous process. Someone has to be the head behind with the stick. Then only thing will happen. Otherwise, BMS will give the report. Is of no use. Like it, you know that there are a lot of data is available. But how to use that data? That is also a big question mark. Who is going to put that much effort to see that? But if it is your own hospital, then you will go from that angle. And is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Because uh, so you can see here, a lot of equipments are there. That pricing is not ever under control. But this is the thing which we can get able to control it. And those only uh, will be able to help them to run the entire show. Thank you once again for listening to me. And uh, thank you to uh, organizer for giving this opportunity to me. Uh, to come to this place on this uh, dais and give the, my some experience that that's why I said that I did not compare with any other hospital. It's my own process and next time maybe whenever this time event will continue I can give my another two hospital project also so how it is happening. So I want to just check whether it is happening or not because it, this is a process and it should come through your heart and you should think energy is not only for uh, uh, conferences and just to say yes. Uh, reduction in CO2 that will not help. It has to come through heart and then think will improve. Thank you.